Alright, so I just had to talk about Ubisoft and all this bullshit that has been going on as of late. Now, Ubisoft has just been getting progressively worse and worse. Like, every time you see their name, something bad is because of it. Let's go back to fucking Watch Dogs. Let's just go back to that. Remember all those freaking PC players that couldn't even play the fucking game on day one. They couldn't even play it because of Uplay. Now Uplay has been shitty from the get go. Everybody hates Uplay. It's stupid. It's horrible. It's the exact opposite of what Steam is. Steam runs in the background, doesn't really have to for some games, doesn't use up that, that much resources for a lot for a PC. Ooh, you play is the exact fucking opposite. It has to be that you have to be connected to the internet. It's just a complete bullshit service. And if you buy a game on Steam, you have to use Uplay to play it. When I play Far Cry 3, I have to have Steam and Uplay open. And I have to be connected to the internet. It's just a complete and utter fucking mess with Uplay. Now, let's fast forward to Assassin's Creed Unity, which I didn't even have interest in in the first place. Because I'm, I'm not, I haven't played one Assassin's Creed game. I have no desire to. Maybe in the future I'll get, I'll play them in order. I want to play a game series in order. This game, first off, it was announced to only be 900p 30 frames on the consoles, and Ubisoft's dumbass decided to misword the information in fanboyish manner. They just decided to go like, well, we're matching the console parity because um, we're getting tired of fanboys arguing. That wasn't even gonna solve nothing. That would've just made more, because then they would've said, look at Microsoft paying off Ubisoft to lock the game on both platforms. They're a piece of shit. And then they go out and say, well, actually, um, Ubisoft says this. Actually, um, the Xbox is, um, GPU, not GPU, CPU is so stronger than the, um, the, the PS4s. So, um, if anything's holding this back, it's the PS4. Well, we know on paper and in the past, it's been proven the PS4 is a stronger machine. You just didn't fucking optimize your game right. So, you're gonna say that the Xbox One's small advantage in the CPU makes a difference. When in reality, if you optimize the game right, the PS4 version will have more frames. They probably still would have locked it at 30, but it would have had way more frames. So, game comes out. People are excited for it. I'm just like, okay, let's see how this one gets as far as review scores go. Before I even see review scores, I'm seeing pictures of these weird ass glitches. Like you see the inside of their fucking face. I'm not, like, there's glitches. You see like their eyeballs and shit. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And they're saying it's Assassin's Creed Unity. I'm like, what? They launched the game with a bug like that? And just so much bullshit bugs and, and then the console version of the game is unplayable it dropped down to 12 frames per second in a digital foundry video 12 frames that is the most slideshow that's not even cinematic if you're gonna use that damage control excuse of cinematic you can't even use it for this 12, 12 frames is half of the cinematic experience. A movie is 24 frames. This game was dropping down to 12. That is half of what a movie is. That is some straight slideshow bullshit. 12 frames is a fucking slideshow. No one can damage control that. You know what 12 frames is? Go and play Battlefield 3 on Ultra on a laptop. That's what 12 frames is. That it that's just unacceptable from Ubisoft and it's not even the console's fault like you can say the console's weak if you want they're not complete dog shit this game could run at a solid 30 but this game is the most optimized bullshit I've seen from Ubisoft in a long time and you know it's bad when even the PC version is an unoptimized piece of dog shit people are saying they have two GTX 980s and only getting a hundred frames what? How you only get a hundred frames with two 980s? Doesn't make any goddamn sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. You can't damage control that. And they're gonna say, wow, a hundred frames, that's more than 60, that should be more than enough. Yeah, but do the math. One car alone should be able to run this game at 60 if you lower some settings. How the hell is it only getting a hundred frames? This is max. This is max. Um, this is like a max frames. They put, they put the game on low. They're only getting 100 frames per second. This isn't like, oh, you're playing at Ultra, that's why. Nah, people are putting the game on low. Someone's fucking calling. I don't know who you are. People are putting the game on low and only getting 100 frames max with two 980s. That doesn't make any logical goddamn sense, Ubisoft. 
Doesn't make any damn sense. If you use one card and put the game on low, you should get like 60 right there. You should get above 60, to be honest, on any game, because it's low. I guess Crisis could be like the exception. You could get like not 60 completely. But still, that's just bullshit. And the game's just got these glitches. It's messed up on all platforms. You got PC elitists out here saying they don't even blame the consoles. They blame Ubisoft for the problemization. That's when you know you're fucked up as a game developer. This is bad. This is horrible. I wasn't interested in the game. I'm sure as hell not even getting it now. Like, this is ridiculous. I bought Watch Dogs and it was 900p30. You know, it's kept that frame rate. The only time Watch Dogs dropped was when it was um, loading the level or loading the mission after the level was already completed. And even then, that was only for a few seconds. I'm like, okay, it's a slight stutter. It could be better, but it's only for a few seconds. This be doing it during the gameplay and the cutscene and shit. The cutscenes came in Q30 frames, though. The cutscenes average, average 25, 24 frames. And the Xbox One version, during the gameplay, it has a higher frame rate. And then the PS4 version has a higher frame rate during cutscenes. What the fuck is that? This is unoptimized bullshit. The Xbox One is the weaker machine. They're both running at the same resolution. How the fuck are the frame rates that different? The Xbox One should have lower frames and everything because it's the weaker machine. But no, it's getting higher frames. That shows they either spent more time with the Xbox version or they just optimized it and somehow, some magical way, the Xbox One is running it better. So I don't know, but this is just fucking stupid. And you Xbox fag boys out there that are damage controlling this, like, see, the Xbox One is running it better. Shut the fuck up. Shut the, don't, don't brag about this, complain. Y'all are bragging when y'all need to be complaining to Ubisoft about how it's not even at 30. Okay, um, I really doubt the console are performing it. I'll perform the PS4. That is just pure luck, or they spent more time with it. Although to be honest, I don't think they spent any time to um optimizing this game because it's just running like shit. But like, niggas is bragging about how it's running better. Like, why are y'all bragging about an extra two frames when that doesn't even make it 30? We're talking. Oh, I'm, I'm getting um 19 frames here, and you're only getting 17. <laughs> Xbox One, hashtag Xbox One. Get the fuck out of here! Like, really? You're gonna stop bragging and start fucking complaining to Ubisoft. Doesn't make any goddamn sense. And th that just shows how desperate the fucking Xbox are. It makes no sense to be. No one should be bragging about this game. Everyone should be equally pissed about the performance. Console dudes, y'all should be getting a solid 30 frames or at the mo or at the most 28 frames during a crazy intense part. That would be an understandable drop. Two frames. But nah, this shit won't even stay at 30. When it touches 30, that's when Jesus comes down and says hi to everybody for a sec. That's how rare the fucking frame rate is. So y'all need to stop bragging and start complaining to Ubisoft. And Ubisoft, y'all, y'all need to fix this bullshit. Give refunds. Like I'm not even joking. Give refunds. You have ripped people off. People have paid sixty dollars for a game and they can't run it to sixty frames on PC. And then console people pay sixty dollars for the game. They can't even play it at thirty frames per second. This is unoptimized dog shit. And on top of all them bugs and glitches, this is complete dog shit. And you know it just got lazy, cause Watch Dogs had no problem on the consoles. Drops were rare, they only happened at certain parts. This shit will not keep a solid. This game reminds me of fucking Knack. Y'all know Knack on PS4 that launched? That game had the most sporadic frame rate ever. This is like that, only Knack will go above 30 at certain points. This shit will not even touch 30 and stay there for a little bit. Fucking dog shit optimization from Ubisoft. So let me know down in the comment section. Any of y'all actually bought this game? How bad it's performing for you? Any PC gamers out there? What are your specs and how is it running for you? So yeah, I, I'm out. I'm, I, Ubisoft, y'all are just starting to fuck up. If Far Cry 4 is not a good game, y'all are officially worse than EA. You're already right in the running. Y'all are in the same boat. Y'all are matched up, neck and neck. Any more fuck ups and y'all be worse. Cause Far Cry 4, I ain't even gonna get started on that, but the fact that they're charging you for the multiplayer. You have to pay for the multiplayer. EA has never done any dog shit like that. But I'm, I'm, I'm out on that note. That's just fucking dog shit. 
will be sorry for you to be punished for this. So yeah, let's let me know down in the comment section about your thoughts on this. And I'm out. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to that one niche on the PlayStation.